Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I am going to talk about this 250 watts, 180 volts permanent magnet treadmill motor, mini treadmill motor. Now this is the smallest treadmill motor that I have seen yet and these treadmill motors are also very good generators. So I am going to test its motoring and generating ability in this video. Okay. Now the treadmill motors are the most efficient kind of permanent magnet DC motors and they have the capability of starting at a minimum voltage. For example this motor is rated at 180 volts. For example this is a 180 volts DC motor and yet I am going to operate it with just 1.2 volts AA battery. Okay. So let's connect the wires. And about the wires, this green wire is the earth wire and the red and the black are for the positive and the negative respectively okay so negative goes to the black wire the positive goes to the red wire okay you can see that even though it is operating at a really slow speed but still this AA battery can at least start it okay so guys now I'm going to feed this motor with this 60 volts DC supply and yet before doing that I'm going to measure the source voltage with this multimeter for you. Okay. So 200 volts pointed. Now let's check the source voltage. Now it is 60 volts DC so you have to be a bit careful. Okay. Yeah, so it is almost 55 volts and yet it's rated at 59 point something volts. So it depends upon the area voltage. Okay, so 55 volts it is. Okay, now I'm going to connect the wires. Negative goes here. The positive. Goes to the other terminal. And you can see that the motor is operating really smooth. Yeah, smooth motor operation, smooth motor operation, okay so now I'm going to disconnect it. So that was the motoring mode and now I'm going to proceed to the generating mode. Okay so first I'm going to do the multimeter voltage testing. Now you can see hand rotation. The simple hand rotation is generating 11 volts, 15, 17, 21. As I said that this was a high voltage permanent magnet DC generator. So with a simple spin it will easily generate high voltages without any gearbox. Okay. Okay, so guys just watch the multimeter screen now as I'm going to pull the thread. Okay, go. You saw the maximum voltage was 128 volts DC. That's the rope voltage. So mathematically the 128 volts DC should be enough to light up a 100 watts incandescent bulb which is rated at 220 volts. AC 
and since these are incandescent bulbs so they can also operate at 220 volts DC they are universal okay so let's do that okay just see the bulb while I pull the thread okay go yeah the generation was pretty good let's try that once more go yeah this time the generation was much better than last time so okay there are three things that are really good about uh, about this treadmill motor that should be used as a generator that I'm going to share with you the first is this brush replacement ease you can easily open this it's just a thing but a plastic screw you open it when the brushes are used completely used and simply replace it by purchasing them from the market and your motor will start working as good as new the second is this inertia disc third is the stand and the fourth is its low rpm high voltage generating ability that's the most important part and also they have they are really strong with a good base stand provided with them yes yeah, so guys that was all about the video Thank you so much for watching it and if you are going to make a bicycle generator or wind turbine generator then go for a treadmill motor I would say and it would be even better if you connect a gearbox because with a gearbox you will be able to generate higher voltage at low wind speeds. Yeah so guys that was all about the video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you.